today we're replacing the garbage disposal. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Every model is going to be slightly different. So make sure you follow the instructions for that model and the type. Every sink might be slightly different too. So just keep that in mind. But this is the general instructions. Things that I'm going to note right here, the P-trap and mine is special because of the height of my pipe, my drain pipe here. Um, I have used this flexi one um, just to make it work better, but it does have water in the P-trap. So you're going to need something to catch the water in before you go to disconnect it. And also I do like to unplug it. So I'm going to unplug. I mean, you can go to the extreme of just turning off your power. I like to unplug it. I also like to turn off the water to the sink itself because you don't want to chance somebody turning on the water when you're in the middle of the project. That would be no fun. So I'm just going to disconnect these hoses now and then unattach it from the sink. It's getting hard to figure out what you're about going it alone. I took off the garbage disposal too. It just twists on. There's this little loop lip right here that connects to this lip right here on it. Um, sometimes the new garbage disposal, it has the same feature. Sometimes you can reuse the same, but in my case, I can't. So I have to take off the rest of this to be able to install the new flange stuff for the sink. When you are installing a new garbage disposal, if you have a dishwasher, you need to knock out this hole right here. So that way you can take it out. So I'm going to hurry and knock that out and then we can move on with the next steps. Just want to make sure you get all those pieces that you just knocked out from the garbage disposal which i did and it's clean here because you don't want anything to catch on it so the next steps even though it says to do this later we're going to do it right now while we're here which is installing the drain and the dishwasher connector Make sure you don't over tighten that too, because it's plastic, so it will break. Now I'm just gonna make sure with my instructions, I'm putting this together properly. So it says rubber washer first. So it looks like there's a little lip right here. And it doesn't really tell you that, but there's a little lip right there. So what I'm gonna do is place this on. If you can see this lip, there is a little lip right here. That's going to go on there. So that's where that sits into. And then this guy, there's also a little lip that that guy's going to sit on. And then it's all going to go right here and attach with the screws into place. And I'm just going to tighten those up. Okay, now we're ready to put on the main part and mine came with a washer, this washer right here, but I can only use it if I have a stainless steel sink, which I don't, so that's no good to me. So what I have to use is plumber's putty. And so I already did my plumber's putty. It just is like, um, think of it like little kids. What is that called? Oh my gosh. What is that called? It's like Play-Doh. And so what you're going to do is just roll it into snake. 
It's like your kid again. And you're just going to roll it until it'll go all the way around this ring. So I need to roll just a little bit more. Okay, so we're all the way around the ring. Just going to squish it on there. And this is going to seep out as you squish it down in. And you're just going to clean it off. So just press it in. It's just to make sure that you get a good seal. So now I'm going to stick this in the sink and I'll have to clean underneath and above. So I made sure this is all clean before I do this. My putty's on there. I'm just going to set it into place and squish it. It's getting hard to figure out what you're about. Going it alone and what you're hiding underneath. I can't and it will squish out as we go along farther and tightening things, but that's where we're going to leave it for right now. So the next thing I need to do is just clean it off from here as well. So any of the excess putty. I'm just taking off. And this is just a flathead screwdriver. It works really well. Okay, and then for mine, I use this ring washer thing. It goes on next. So that guy. Oh. And it obviously doesn't want to stay. That guy. This guy's next. And then we're going to put this guy on, but I'm noticing an issue before we start. I need to make sure those bolts are not engaged. And I will need this little ring to, to attach it. It goes right here on this little lip at the bottom. So as I'm putting them together, just so you know what I'm doing. So it looks like I'm just going to tighten it until it doesn't move anymore with my hand. And then I'm going to take this guy, which is the hex wrench, and just tighten. It's also telling me at this point that I should put in the stopper that came with this and make sure that there's no leakage around the side. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm testing it right now with the stopper and as you can see, there is no water coming out. So we are good to go with the next step. This guy's next. And so I've got it on and now I just have to tighten it. But I wanna make sure that this guy is facing that way that I need it to. So I need to hurry and just readjust that. Oh no! Oh no! That was my fear with doing the water. Oh well. It's clean water, so it's fine. Okay, clean up the water mess. Let's try this again. Okay, I've got it initially on, but I need to totally fasten it. It is fully on there now. I used the screwdriver. Completely tighten it. So now we're just gonna reconnect drain line and this drain line for the dishwasher and plug it in and this guy is now installed. We're just going to check it, make sure nothing's leaking, make sure it works properly, and then it's good to go.